And here we go, game three of the round robin. KV Hawks taking on the Grand Falls Junior Cats. Doing the handshakes before the game. Starting goalies for both teams in net for Grand Falls, number 24. Alex Lafarge, and between the pipes on the other end for KV, number 30, Quinn Kalark. We're about set for puck drop. Here we go, game three. Hockey New Brunswick, U15B Provincials. It's quickly taken in by Washuk. KV just holding the line. And it's KU who dumps it in. Now behind, Washuk. Pinned along the boards, gives away the puck. Grand Falls goes back the other way. Banked off the boards and will hit the, not hit the side of the net. And we go for an icing for checking Martin. Almost being the first one there. Face off to the right of Lafarge. It's a tie up, but Grand Falls end up winning the draw. Breaking out the other way, the pass goes up to Toner. Shot, backdoor pass, what a save by Clark. Desjardins, cross ice pass to Martin. Did not get all of his one timer shot, but was rejected by the glove of Clark. Face off, it's green. There's a shot out in front, they score! Felix McNeil starts Grand Falls off goal within a minute of this game. Felix McNeil gets the first goal in this game. It's Grand Falls. They're up 1-0 on KV. Picked up behind the net. KV net. It's ba Bachman. Pass up. Walking in. Shot. Save. Lucas Green. He had a chance to lift one and snipe one and is rejected by the blocker of La Falge. A shot headed towards the net. Just by the glove, that foul sent back out on the slot. Too far back the other way. Players getting pinned up. Shanks looking to be the one there for KV. It's taken out of the zone by Levesque. Walking in, a shot is blocked. Behind that to be picked up by Susie. Out in front, the shot saved by Clark. Latul Comier with a great chance to put K. Grand follows up by a score of 2 0. Passed up, Shanks. Pass to the middle, right to the table of Georgidas. False icing, face off his back, shot saved by Lafarge, rebound, wasn't controlled. 
It was Dunlop who had the initial shot in and out of the glove of Lafarge. Up against the boards, the shot sends the stick out of the hands of Bolster. Kept in by the Hawks, and finally cleared out, and this will go for an icing against KV. 12-36 left in the first period. off it's a tie up it's gonna be won by KV puck sent around it's gonna be three junior cats on the puck before any Hawks there's a Grand Falls player slipping up now it's a one-on-one -on -one. here comes Maltin stops passes it back there's a back end into the middle of the slot saved and the rebound Desjardins looking for a rebound, but was covered up under the pad of Clark. That's a good play by Maltin to stop it. Backhand off to Deschen. He put it towards the net and that almost resulted in a goal. Maltin battling. Desjardins in the corner. Set to it in front. Save. Rebound Maltin. Another pad save by Clark. Now it's just kept in. Now it's finally taken up by KV. Puck sent back. K will take his time before cross ice passing that over to George. George to the middle. There's a pass just off the stick of Dobbin. That pass intended for Dijaldin. He'll eventually get it and dump it in now around the net. Puck is loose, finally being taken up. Around the net. Pass out in front, a good play by Deschen. Wrap around, pass out in front, but the player in the slot was tied up. A puck hit the side of the net, went right in front of the net. It's gonna be kept it at the blue line by McLeod. A pass up into the stick of Latiel Colmier. He couldn't quite control that. It's gonna go back to him, backdoor pass. Good defense out in front by K to break the play up. Green, he's gonna walk in. Green with the shot, save, rebound. And there is none. It's covered up. One nothing, Grand Falls. 10.51 left to go in the game. Those are my hockey associates with like their platinum sponsor of the tournament, Penny at Construction the Lions Club, and JFW Woodworking. Now a loose puck out in front. KV couldn't quite get the shot on it. That's gonna be taken back by McLeod. McLeod with the pass over. A one-timer dump and attempt. A potential good chance, and it's just shot wide of the net by Latiel Calmier, who couldn't quite outspeed the KV defender. Now working his way up is Shanks. Grayson Shanks off the boards. Now down behind the net. He's, he's going to be met by Toner. And we're going to have a penalty for head contact. So it looks like we're going to head to a Grand Falls power play. Going to the box is Grayson Shanks. Two minutes for head contact at 10-12 in the first. Face off to Clark's left. And the left face off dot. That one's gonna be won by Grand Falls to the point set by Maltin. A shot not deflected, blocked, and sent out by Wiseman. Grand Falls recovering, trying to start the breakout. The drop pass for Maltin. Maltin's gonna skate his way up. He's gonna get by Wiseman. Maltin not passing it in front. Now it's Pochecked off his stick. And Wiseman failed clearing attempt at the flooring at line. A shot off the helmet of Alexandre Maltin. 
And a penalty, another penalty coming up to KV. Pass out in front, deflected, and it touched up in front. And another head contact penalty going against the Hawks. And it looks like it's Jack Mullet headed to the sin bin at 9.28 for head contact. And it's a four minute penalty. So it's a one minute and 16 seconds left on the five on three for Grand Falls. Then they'll head to a lengthy five on four power play. Maltan stops, shoots, and it's deflected behind the net. That was Quimper trying to pinch. A backhander, misses Deshen. Deshen, the attempted cross ice pass deflected by Elliott. There's a shot off a skate. Rebound set to Maltin. Maltin will try to go cross crease. There's a fake shot, a sent back door. It's more of a shot than a pass. Now some attempted moves by, but there's a shot, deflected, rebound. Natul Colmier was pouncing on that. Cross ice pass by Susi. And the shot attempt by Quimper. And now it's down the ice. Some good penalty killing for the Hawks. 13 seconds left to go on the first penalty. Walking in his grand falls, just on side. A great move by a player to keep his leg on the blue line. Well, here comes Bolster. Bolster stops, gives away the pucks. Green around the boards. Defenseman's gonna pinch. And there goes Seal. Seal dumps it in. There's a deflection out in front. Puck loose. Well, not quite set out by Wiseman. It's to be gathered at the point. Green heals him to the first one on it and clear it. It's now a five on four power play for two minutes and 22 seconds. A dangerous chance in front. There was McNeil blowing a tire right as he was about to receive a pass and that will go down for icing. 7.39 left to go in this initial frame. Stops even moment by Grand Falls. Trying to make his way by Kay. And Kay showing off his superb defending. The sets around the net. First one on it's gonna be Dish End from Grand Falls. Scooped up and around the net. Or to Latul Kamyi. That is Maltin rather. Maltin in a stick battle. And it's Kryly. Sending it all the way back down the ice. Good penalty kill. 138 left to go. These teams so far have been very evenly matched. Grand Falls with significantly more shots, but have been on the power play for half the game. And this will go for an icing. Sent around. It's Quimper back the other way. Now a smooth breakout by Grand Falls. Gives him neutral zone possession. Thibodeau's gonna fall as he's trying to enter the zone. Grand Falls now just offside. And Karen caught on. Touch the puck. That will. Secure this offside. A sent into the zone off the pad. That's dumped in by Quimper. And to the middle, the attempted pass by Thibodeau is picked off. And sent all the way back down the ice. The attempted breakout, Levesque. 
Eventually spins and turns and fires and ends up with Shanks. And he sends it back in. 40 seconds left to go on this power play. And here comes Quimper. He's going to exit the zone himself, lead the rush before dumping it into the right corner. Taken by Wiseman. Wiseman clearing it back down. Quimper, he's going to stop. Send it around the boards. There's Latiel Colmier, banking it off the boards, coming in, trying to get around two Hawks, send it to the slot. Clark's gonna play that back behind the net. Just under 10 seconds to go, Dunlop. Played out to the middle, that one goes over the stick of Richal. Richal plays it back along the boards for Susi. A pass back, now a pass to the right side for McLeal. Slips off his stick and Dunlop, send it back to the neutral zone, bolster. Now gets it back. There's Latiel Comier. Pass it over. A shot deflected off the glove of Clark. Now behind that is McLeal. They're trying to put it out in front. It's a behind. Wraparound attempt. Puck loose out in the blue paint. There's an attempted kicking motion. Now two players getting into a little scrum behind the net. It was. It was bombing. And another. Junior Cat, and it looks like the Junior Cats are going to be penalized for it. More specifically, it's Caden Latiel Comier to the box. Two minutes for a cross check at 4.52. Face off one by KV. Cross ice pass, shot from the point, saved, rebounds up in the air. Still loose before it's finally taken out. That initial point shot was Grayson Shanks. And being taken in by Maltin. It's now poked off his stick. He regains in the corner. Does a toe drag before losing it again. Now gets it back off of a bounce. Maltin is going to go back to his own end. He'll go to the neutral zone, pass it off. Now it's stuck back into the corner. Taken by Shanks. Shanks, cross ice pass. The breakout not so smooth. Maltin disturbing that. Maltin pass back over. Now in the defensive zone, it'll be cleared back out, but stopped by Shanks. Shanks in the defensive zone, banked off the boards. Now to the middle for Green. Green works on the right side of shot, saved, and the rebound is controlled by Lafarge for a whistle exactly a minute into this power play. Three fifty-two left to go in this first period. The score remains one at nothing. Grand Falls. Green in the corner, taking his time before sending that out to the middle, and it's deflected off a stick. Grand Falls, who are still on the penalty kill, regroup back behind the net. Quimper will take his time and then send it down to the opposite corner. Mullet stops. Button hooks around his face-off circle. Then passes it up to, to Wiseman. That's regained by Quimper. And he'll load up a wrist shot. Send it on to the goalie. Picked up by Mullet again. Mullet fails to clear. Turned over. Desjardins sent that to the net. That's off a stick. Now Green works his way through a couple. Green Still kind of with possession. That Now it's finally poked off. Penalty's done. We're even strength. Now walking. There's a shot. Blocker save. Over to the opposite corner. Grand Falls potential three on two. A high back and pass. Is way out of the reach of Desjardins. Will go to Mullet. Mullet banked off the boards. Regathered by Levesque. Levesque stops. Passes it right to the middle. Now in comes Thibodeau. Losing the puck. KV goes the other way. Fulterton with the pass. The hit off escape. 
Now KB finally in the offensive zone, and they have to regroup in the neutral zone. K, the pass goes right across the center ice dot, and the killing attempt hits the stick of George. George still with it, banks it off the boards. That one goes behind Gorgotis. Well, multiple players, gloves and sticks falling at center ice. It's picked up by Thibodeau. Thibodeau stops and sends a nice breakout pass to the right wing. Now picked up by Seal. Seal almost gets destroyed. Now it's done back into the grand fall zone. Minute and a half left to go. A pass up, misses Green, potential breakaway. McLeal walks in, forehand, a shot, and he missed the net on a breakaway. Could have been his second of the game. McLeal causing more disruption with his forechecking. Okay, a pass up intended for Dobbin. Dobbin now regains possession. He's going to shoot, save, rebound, another shot, and another save. You know, Grand Falls, he's, they're going to go back the other way. Walking in, and it's deflected away by Bogman. Now Bauman. Still with it. Playing that off for Shanks. Shanks going to dump it in and go around the net. Picking that up in the corner is Bolster. Bolster, he's going to stop. Then send that over for McLeal. McLeal turning it over. A player walking in. There's another shot whiffed on. 20 seconds left to go. The big saucer pass. Beautiful play by Bauman to keep it in the zone. Hit against the boards. Then Lee Shaw sends it around. KV will dump it in, and that will most likely be the end of the period. Lee Shaw's going to wait. Pass that over to Levesque, and that ends the first. KV trying, starting to get momentum nearing the end. It's one to nothing after one. Second period. Puck is dropped. Here goes Grand Falls. Levesque, a cross ice pass. Sent up by Bolster. KB now regaining possession. The puck is cleared out. And that one over for Levesque. Isaac Levesque 
Makes his way around a couple, then loses the puck behind the net. It's picked up by Mullet. Mullet now. He's going to take his time, then rush up himself. Now Green, he's going to get hooked. KV, come a, KV power play coming up. A shot from the point. Deflected on net, and the rebound is touched up by Bolster. And we'll have a hooking call going against Grand Falls. KV, a good chance to come up with a goal. Doing it, power play. Fulterton going in the face of Struglitz. Latul Calmier. Won easily by Fulterton. A rainbow shot from the point from George. Goes up in the corner and will be cleared out by Susi. K with the puck. Making his way up. Very slowly and calmly before passing that off. Just on side. It'll be a slap shot, attempted shot, off the skate. Now to the middle, back door, shot to the side of the net. Colby Dunlop, what a chance. Now to the blue line, a shot blocked and sent out of the zone by Quimper. And a pick back up by Kay, now trying to regroup. Owen Kay. Makes his way past the Louisville Lightning logo in the center. K, sharp angle shot, saved, and the rebound sent back into the corner. Now Guy. Jordan. And behind the net is Fulterton. Fulterton, a pass to Dunlop, and a weak shot on net. Stops play. 13.05 left to go in this second period. 46 seconds left to go on the KV power play. Face off one by KV. Elliott, he's gonna tap that back to the point. Over for Shanks. Shanks back to Elliott. Elliott's gonna try to maneuver it to the front. Now it's gonna be pushed off by Eddie Shaw. Some battling in the corner, and Ento in the slot. Pass is picked off. Now sitting back, KV's gonna have a five on three. Another Grand Falls penalty coming up. Now to the middle, a bank shot almost did. Now Dobbin to the middle, missed his pass. Still not touched up by Grand Falls. Here's Washuk. Washuk, the attempted pass to the point is blocked. Gets the pass back. Now sent into the ring out line, a shot, another block. And now McFeel probably going to touch up here unless he's outspeeded. And well, this will be a Grand Falls penalty as they touch up. One second left on their penalty right now. So we'll have one second of a five on three. And it looks like it's Deshen to the box or Thibodeau. During the stop to play, the Luzel Miner saw. Hockey Association would like to thank their sponsors for this tournament, the gold sponsors, Assumption Life, the City of Moncton, Medicine Shop Pharmacy, Sports Rock, and Danielle Alain. KV will take it in. They a player thought they were offside, but they really weren't. Now it's cleared back in. It's still going to be a five on four. McKeel will stop. KV trying to make their way out of their own zone. It was Desjardins, a chance to clear it back in and miss. Now here's Martin. Martin walks in and shoots. Nowhere close to the net on that one. KV trying to exit the zone. Good pressure by Desjardins, keeping them in, the, in their own defensive zone. Uh, Green going to try to use speed to get by a couple. Well, that's not Green, that's Wiseman. Wiseman. Trying to get to the middle, lose, miscontrols the puck. Now Wiseman getting tangled up with Quimper. Now taken out by Desjardins, he's just gonna pass that right to the defenseman. A shot saved by Lafarge.
Face off is going to be taken eventually by Grand Falls. It's going to be cleared out by Maxim Deschen. 43 seconds left to go on the penalty. Cleared around the net by Fulterton. And cleared back in by Toner. Toner's going to get it in the neutral zone, take his time before flipping it high. And it's just going to hit the top of the glass, not out of play. KV finally making some progression on this power play. Drop pass, shot, saved. Fulterson, Fulterton and Bolster are gonna shove a bit. Meanwhile, Dunlop back door got a couple shots at the goalie without being noticed. This game, not as high scoring as last game. 10 minutes and 28 seconds left to go in the second. Only one goal has been scored. Last game with Payne and Fredericton, there's at least nine goals scored by this time. Penalty now done. Playing some even strength. Shanks takes it around behind his own net. Now it's almost hit. He eventually gets it in the offensive zone. A cross ice pass by Levesque. A pass that went right to the neutral zone. Skips over the stick of Bauman. He's now pinned up against the boards. Now a pass out in front. It was deflected away. A, a poor clear out pass. Now it's taken advantage of by Grand Falls. And a no look pass by Susie. Was turned over. Now walking in, big hit on Elliott. I believe that one's by, by Susie. There's a shot and covered up by Lafarge. Whistle, 9.23 left to go. Minor Hockey Association would like to thank the silver sponsors, Igloo Beverage Room and Steakhouse, Cavendish Farms, SAE Academy, Maple Hills Rural, Rural Community, and Hillcrest Kitchens. Now back, Wiseman. Got it just out of the zone. Thibodeau taking it in the zone, offside. Still a 1-0 game early in this second period. A one-time clear and attempt by Quimper. Puck loose up against the boards. Looking like this will be another KV power play. Walking in, a shot saved by Lafarge on Colin Wiseman. We're going to have a penalty to Grand Falls. It's going to be for a hold, and it looks like going to the box is Olivier Quimper. One by KV. An attempted shot is whiffed on by Wiseman. Another shot's blocked. Wiseman now in the neutral zone. He's going to pass it over. Now walking in his mullet. Getting that to the net. Rebound was squeaked out loose. Now will be cleared down to the other side of the ice by Sam Bolster. Now walking in a shot and... A cover of some extracurricular activities happening in front of Lafarge. Face off. Give me one by KV. A shot deflected and will be taken out by Levesque.
And a whistle. Not quite sure what it was for. Linesman must have called icing on a penalty kill. So the face off will go back to center ice. KV currently on a power play. A minute and 14 seconds left on that. K circles, makes a nice dangle by Maltin. Now let's take it in. Thibodeau with a nice dangle, then a shot and saved. Two nice plays right back to back. One coming by K, and the next one coming from Tama Tibodo. Oh, puck's being dumped into the KV zone. Sent back by Bauman. With a stop, a shot, saved by Clark. Now Maltin, again gonna take over possession. Maltin around the net he goes. Still barely with possession. Maltin, then he's gonna dump it in right to the corner and kill more time. Great penalty, great penalty killer this guy has been so far. Some rough stuff happening in the corner. It'll eventually be dumped in deep into the Grand Falls zone and cleared out by Zachary Susi. Penalty now over, less than seven minutes left to go in this one nothing hockey game. Bauman stops. A pass, just missed the stick of K. Now a good play from Levesque. Who had to dive to make the pass. A pass intercepted, a nice toe drag by Shanks to get it into the zone. Shanks is reversed. That's a shot just over the net. Shanks currently down, struggling to get up. A backhanded in by Mullet. Now it goes to Levesque. Levesque around the boards, just misses the stick of McLeal. McLeal has... And a two on one and there's a whistle for Shanks who is getting up and going to the bench. Did not seem like the time to blow the whistle. It was McLeal and Latiel come in on a two on one. And the whistle is blown for an injured Thomas Shanks, Grayson Shanks rather, who ends up into the bench. Six eleven left to go in the second period. Still one nothing Grand Falls. Banked up against the boards. A little too far goes to Bolster. Bolster cross ice pass. Pass back up to Karen. There's a pass that goes right to the stick of Costello. He shoots in out of the glove. Puck loose in the slot. Another shot save. Green was right on top of that. Green stops, tries to send it. In the middle, Lafalge plays that out with the stick with ease. Krilly. To the point, there's a sh shot, and Wiseman barely wasn't able to hold the zone. Now Wiseman has to do a couple dangles before getting into the zone. Sent into the zone and picked up by Toner. Toner held a stop behind his net, then Krilly went one way, so he went the other. Now pass to Seal. Seal tried to flip it into the zone. Dumping it, that was blocked. Now KV going back the other way. Now walking in is George. He stops and shoots. And a save. It was Reed Crilly, not George. 
Looked like he thought he had scored. But this game stays one to nothing. 4.53 left to go in the second frame. After the spear, there'll be a, be a 12, 10 to 12 minute break. We'll be back for the third. There's a shot. Just missed the net. Did not miss by much. Now a dump in off the skate of Dunlop. Now behind the net is Rishal. Struggling to keep possession. Loose out in front between a couple skates. Dunlop regains possession. Sends it to the defense. Malta was right there. Now he finally gets it back. Luckily, Kay getting first on the puck. Middle seconds before him. Now dumped out by Desjardins. Deschen had a chance for a partial breakaway, but it's the KV defender that gets there first. Now pass up, it's gonna miss a couple Hawks sticks just to the reach of Dunlop. And that'll go for an icing. Four minutes left to go. Attempted shot on is blocked. Around in the KV corner. Just trying to trying to start a breakout. Pass over to the other side. Now a pass up to K. K who couldn't quite play it. Now it's set to bolster. The multiple players coming to, to each other's aid. Now back in it, right back into the pile. No pile up starting this time as it's dumped back in. A clear around the net by Toner. Now another scrum happening in the corner. Now it's behind the net, picked up by Bolster. Bolster, he stops, looks for options, and sends a perfect pass onto the table of Susie. Susie off the boards. And into the Moncton, the KV Hawks bench. And this tournament set up at the K is Hockett. Getting all the hockey tools you will need. They're set up at a table at the K in the main entrance. Now skating with it a little bit is Quimper before dumping it out. Picked up by Wiseman. Wiseman, a pass just out of the reach of Constello. And it's still, as it remained, there's been one goal and that happened less than a minute into the, in the first. And it's been that way up until now. one nothing Grand Falls. Still Fidix McLeal with the only goal so far. Now walking out of his own zone is Wiseman. Wiseman carrying possession. Still with it. That's green, rather. Green, backhander, side of the net. Now multiple tie-ups for a nifty move. And flipped on net and gloved and caught by Alex Lafarge. In the last game, Payne versus Fredericton, it was 11 to two. After the second, not looking that way this game. Face off, won by KV. Pucks loose out in the middle. Malfant tried to get it out. Now it's a back there from Dishan to the opposite. Oh, now it's Toner walking in. Can't quite get a shot off. KV going the other way. Grand Falls taking possession, Levesque. A pass up to Maltin. Maltin cutting to the middle in the offensive zone. Maltin shoots off the mask of Clark. A pass. It's just not kept in by Bolster. I'm taking my Maltin. Maltin, a pass over to Dishen. Back to Mark. 
DeMartin was intended, now it's KV. For going to the offensive zone, a shot is now ended up, it was behind the net and bounced right back into the slot. And is froze, is frozen by Lafalge. A minute and 39 left to go in the second period. That's the third round robin game of the tournament. The third out of six today, all being streamed live on the Moncton Stream Team YouTube channel. Also, six round robin games tomorrow, all of them being streamed on this very YouTube channel. Face off's going to be won by Grosso. Toner accidentally sent a perfect pass to the defenseman. A shot was blocked by Hishal. Now it's being taken out by Susi, who stops, then gives it away. A shot by Dobbin, who's just wide. Now making his way with Latul Colmier before being bumped off the puck. Just over a minute left. Puck's going to be sent to, to Richal. Pass back over now. Pass over to the middle for Susi. Back to the defenseman, Toner. Toner cross ice over for Latul Colmier. Now walking in is Wiseman with the shot. That goes into the chest of Lafalos. 53.3. Going to be Green going up against Dishan. Winner of the battle is no one as of right now. It's going to end up with Krilly. Skating around. Now taken down into the corner. Quimper with the pass. Up out of the zone. KB is offside and they'll touch up. And that'll be a whistle. We'd like to thank currently... 49 watching live on our YouTube channel. It's the KV Hawks going up against Grand Falls in the Hockey New Brunswick U15B 2024 Provincials. Now under half a minute left to go. And Puck is sent up into the netting, in between the netting and the boards. Face off, gonna be taken by KV. Now it's taken by Grand Falls, walking into Susie with the shot, saved by Clark and steered away. Kept in at the blue line by Levesque. Levesque clears it in, and now just five seconds left to go. One more shot, and we'll go into the corner by Bolster, and that's the period. one nothing after two. Stick around for the intermission. We'll have highlights, sponsors, news, and more. You don't want to miss this third period of this high action-packed game.
it. Here we go, puck drop, third period. Game still 1-0 in this tightly contested game. Martin, partial breakaway. A good play by George, breaking up. And a shot that goes around the net. It'll be held in at the point by Bolster, not for long, as it's taken out with the help of the body of Dobbin. Not. Here's K. K dropping it off. Now pucks it out of the zone. It's going to be taken up by Dobbin. Now losing the puck. Dobbin has to defend off Maltin. The big body of Maltin plays it behind him. No look pass. Dish in. Shot. In and out of the glove of Clark. Now pass from Costello to the middle. There goes Dobbin. Dobbin to the middle, attempted for Costello. Cost trying to rim it around. Bolster stops. Back across for McLeal. McLeal to the middle. Grand Falls rush in. Specifically, it's Latiel Cormier. It's pinned up behind the net by Mullet. To the blue line, shot to the middle. Latiel Cormier, the shot, save, and the rebounds behind the net. Latiel Cormier giving a couple cross checks to his opponent. Now Green, he gets the puck in the breakout. Green to the middle, not shooting, now shooting, save, and the rebounds attempted to be cleared. Potential 2 1 0 for Grand Falls. Here's McLeal. McLeal, he's tripped and goes flying into the boards, and this might be a penalty shot. Refs are going to talk. I think this is going to be called a penalty shot. Refs still making up their mind. We'll definitely have another look at it. And this will, or will this go for a penalty shot? This looks like it's a penalty shot, or it's not. Let's say Lucas Green's gonna go to the box for roughing at 12.59 in the third. After everything, it's not a penalty shot, and we're going to continue this game. It's going to be a four on, or this won't even be, or no penalty. There's going to be two penalties that offset each other. There'll be no power play after all that. And clear down by KV and an icing. up on the draw. So, pass to the slot and it's deflected off the skates of K. Now it's taken in by Toner. Picked up by Fuller. Fullerton. Flipped back by Toner. Puck now in the neutral zone. Being pinned up right next to the timekeeper's box. Taken in by Fullerton. Loses the puck to Quimper. Now puck in the Grand Falls corner being rimmed around by Deshaw. Quimper. Back to Toner. Toner, the attempted clearing pass up to Latiel Cormier. Bucks will be pinned up against the corner. Fulterton 
Let's try to get it up to the point. Accidentally gives that to Maltan. Maltan bulldozes through two. Maltan, the accidental drop pass to the slot. A shot is just wide. A puck stuck on the side of the net. Now, a shot from the blue line into the chest of Quinn Clark. 11.37 left in the third and final period of the game. Definitely been the best game and most interesting so far. It's KV versus, it's the KV Hawks versus Grand Falls Junior Cats on the Moncton Stream Team channel of the Hockey New Brunswick U15B 2024 Provincials. Now being taken up, it was Washuck. The players, bunch getting tangled up. Puck finally in the Grand Falls zone before it's in the Grand Falls bench and almost hits one of the players in the head. Face off, still tied up. It's going to be taken by Grand Falls. Attempting to exit the zone was Dish Alden. They pass it off to a teammate. A shot in. Ends up behind the net. Dobbin. He's going to rush out of the zone before he's being poked off by Maltin. It ends up with George. George is to the cross ice pass. is picked up by Dish Alden. George gets it by Maltin. A shot attempt from Dijal ends up in the corner. Dobbin around the boards. Elliott now send it to the neutral zone. Quimper almost losing the puck. Now it's in KB's hands. Puck's still loose. That's Wiseman. Sent against the boards. Here comes Maltin. Maltin streaking in. Backdoor pass to the backhand. What a save. Rebound. They score. Zachary Desjardins finds the rebound sitting in the goal crease and put the back end to it and behind the, into the back and then it goes. That'll be Desjardins assisted by Deschen and Maltin at 10.04 of the third period, and it's 2-0 Grand Falls. Now KV down 2-0. Still tons of hockey left to play. 10 minutes specifically to come back. A shot blocked, rebound. And that you'll call me how to spin. He couldn't shoot it as a shot. Off the post. That you'll call me. We'll set a screen. Susie around for McLeal, who's knocked down. Puck up, bouncing out in front. Now it's taken by Wiseman out of the zone. Wiseman. Wiseman around the net, still with possession, sends it out in front of intended for Krilly. There's a shot that just goes over the net by Owen K. Stepped up and wrist it. Looked like it had eyes for the top corner and ended up in the protective netting up out of play. I just got a shout out from PA announcer Greg Mellon. We appreciate it. Now a shot. Went to the side of the net by K. Now it's KV. They're going to regroup. The zone exit pass ends up hitting the Shaw. Or that's Karen, rather. 
Karen going against K. K around, shot to the net, blocked by K. Karen backhanded it into the zone. Now it's taken up by Fullerton. Fullerton, there's a shot. Blocker save and sent out into the corner. That shot was from Dunlop. Now a zone exiting pass taken by Karen. Picked off his stick by K. K trying to weave his way to the middle. Now a backhander. Another shot they score. Thomas Fullerton. Had a little bit of time with the puck in the slot. Made no mistake and roofed it. KV with their first goal. Two to one, eight minutes and 15 seconds left in the game. Next game on the schedule, and still many more left to go, it's the Sackville Legionnaires versus the Paso Predators. Next game coming up at four o'clock. It's gonna be kept in the zone by Bauman. Now Quimper doing a couple dangles, now banked off the boards, and tapped back in by Bauman. And it's an icing against Grand Falls. 7, 5, 7, 48. There's a puck to the net. And that'll be covered. Puck to the middle, backhander saved, rebound is loose, and it's taken up by Maltin. Now Maltin, potential breakaway. Maltin walks in, shoots, and lifts it above the crossbar. We have a penalty looking like it's gonna go against KV. Maltin looks like he's hurt going back to the bench. That is not a good sign for Grand Falls. And it's Braden Washuk. He's going to go to the box for two minutes. It's Washuk to the box. Two minutes for hooking at 7.31 in the third. And Grand Falls has six players on the ice. So it's Olivier Quimper. He'll skate sadly over to his bench. It's going to be Green versus Susie in the faceoff dot. Still a tie up, and it's going to end up with K. And he's going to send that the length of the ice. Okay. Grand Falls now regrouping, now getting into the offensive zone. Walking in was Deshan before being bumped off the puck. Toner, cross ice pass. Now that pass intended for Deshan ends up with K. And down the ice it will go. Behind the net, Bolster. He waits. And pass it in the skates of a, of a junior cat. And then it goes over to Latiel Colmier. There's a shot. Glove save. Rebounds loose out in the slot. Clark didn't know where it was. Now a one-on-one. -on -one. It was Fullerton. He got it by now. Now Lafalge pokes it up. Over for Susie. A pass over. Didn't quite work. Now Latiel Colmier. Going to stop. Pass out in the middle, Susie with the one-timer shot. It's blocked by a defenseman. 
and sent down the ice through the stick of Richal. 20 seconds left to go on the Washuk slashing call. Martin, who's back and looks perfectly healthy. A good sign there. Desjardins, he's hit off the puck, but dumps it in in the process. Take a hit to make a play. Now George, he'll bank that off the boards and down the ice. Washuk's back on the ice. Five and a half minutes left to go in the period. There's a shot. It's the side of the net. Quimper exits his zone. Stops, crosses that over for McLeal. McLeal entering the zone, stops, gets hit, and Martin to the neutral zone. Cleared him by Quimper. Almost hits the netting, hits the glass and bounces. McLeal trying to send that over to the slot. Slap shot from the blue line, trickling to the net and covered in the glove of Clark. Face off, taken by KV, but stripped off by Karen. A pass, some dangles attended by Dobbin. Ends up turning over the puck, Thibodeau walking in. And now Dobbins regains possession. A pass, intercepted by Karen. He's gonna shoot. Now Thibodeau with the shot, he scores! Tama Thibodeau with the shot as he was falling and lifts it. Past the glove of Clark, making it a 3-1 game, giving them some insurance. We'd like to thank the 45, currently watching live on the Moncton Stream TV YouTube channel. It's KV versus Grand Falls. And it's the two o'clock game here on day one of the Hockey New Brunswick U15B Provincials from Louisville and at the K Arena. Mullet didn't get all of his pass, and Karen, he'll send it in. There's a sh low shot off the pad of Clark. That shot was from Seal. Now bringing it up is Fullerton. Fullerton poked off. And cleared back in. Fullerton, that's Wiseman rather. Over for Crilly. Crilly to the middle, pass for Co Costello. Tries to put that to the net and just sends it wide. Less than four minutes left to go in the final frame here. McLeal who makes a nice move, trying to get that to Thibodeau. Now turns that over to Green who loses the puck. Thibodeau who's about to go for a change. Now is the puck and going on a rush. He stops and turns it over to Costello. Now dunk back in my Grand Falls. Jack Mullet has some time. We'll try to pass it over for Dunlop and then he'll off his skate, no icing. Quimper, soft, tries to back in that out of the zone and missed. Now button hooks and turns around. Passing up against the point, big hit. Puck, it's loose. So far no one gathering full possession of it. Now it's taken out by Grand Falls. Three minutes left to go at Puck up by the stick of Susie and Levesque. And cleared back out by Grand Falls, and this one does not have enough momentum for an icing. Kept in by Seal. And behind the net, it's taken by Georgidis. 
Cleared back in by Quimper. Taken by George. Pass up just out of the reach of Georgidis. There's another pass. It ends up with Dunlop. Dunlop walks in, is tripped up. Now going to the slaughter shot, they score! Shot, top corner, three to two. Now the game. Two minutes, 11 seconds left. And Braden Washak goes top corner, tying, not tying, bringing this game within one. Cross pass over by Mullet. Walking in his K to the middle. Now it's taken up by Maltin. A pass over, now cleared in, off the side of the net. Dobbin, who regains possession, a pass over for Bauman. Now KB losing control of the puck. Here's Desjardins. He clears it in. Now it's Mullet. Mullet passes it to the other side with no one there. Mullet again with it. Cross ice pass. Another cross ice pass. That one intended for Dobbin. Now it's Susie taken down. No call. Now two players getting rough. Still no call. KV pulling their goaltender. Puck going wide. And this will go for icing at 104. And a timeout. KV at 104. One by Grand Falls. The last minute of the play. It's going to be six on five. KB with an open cage. Wiseman, a pass over for Costello. Loses the puck. Wiseman walks in and he's offside. Forty-four point two left to go in the game. And it's three to two, Grand Falls Junior Cats over the KV Hawks. This one by Grand Falls, Quimper down the ice, just misses the empty, the empty net. And we'll go back down to the other side. And now timeout is called by Grand Falls. Here we go, 38, 
seconds left on the dot. KV is going all in with their goalie pulled. And Grand Falls will ice it once more. Just seven seconds in between whistles. Puck in the middle, a shot just wide. Hayden Bauman was inches from tying this game up. KB's offside. They don't know and they'll touch up. That's offside with 10 seconds left. Full Fullerton not quite aware. Down the last couple seconds, cleared in. Quimper again wide, giving KV another chance with 12 seconds left to put the puck on net and hope for a rebound or a lucky bounce. As they must win face off for KV. They do put it on net, and that's sent into the corner. Couple seconds remaining, and Grand Falls takes it out into the empty cage. It goes, and they score. Zachary Susi giving the camera or me a wave as they seal the deal. Empty netter, 2.9 seconds left to go. The Grand Falls will take this game four to two. He takes the puck from about in between the KV blue line and the red line and fires it into the net for the empty netter. And that will end the game four to two in favor of Grand Falls. That ends it for this game. Next stream coming in half an hour. And it'll be Sackville Legionnaires taking on the Paso Predatel. You don't want to miss it.